Hi guys, Kristen here. Um, this um, tutorial is going to be about what I use on my hair. Um, I dye my hair all the time, so I'm always having to make sure that it's pretty much not going to fall out because it gets damaged. I dye my hair about once a month. So I'm having to find products that pretty much keep it healthy and shiny. So what I'm going to show you is what I use for shampoo. Um, this is Vital Sassin. You can get it at um, drugstores. Sorry, there's a glare on it. Um, Walmart Target, it's reasonably, reasonably priced for what it does and how well it works with my hair. It works amazing. I also use this L'Oreal um, Advanced Hair Care uh, Total Repair 5, that's what it's called. It smells really, really good. So does the Vital Sassin. These work amazing together, and like I said, they reasonably, they're reasonably priced for um, what they do for my hair. They work great for my hair. Like, I've been using these for about... I'd say about three months, and my hair is really, 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 really nice for the fact that I do dye it so often, and, and just do, and I straighten it, and I curl it, and I do all the things that, you know, most people do for their hair. Um, I also use a uh, Smooth and Shine Serum when my hair is damp. It's by L'Oreal, and it's um, Ever Style here. This is this was five dollars. I've used Paul Mitchell. I've used other things that you can get at the salon. You can get this anywhere, Target, Walmart, whatever. Um, and uh, it was five dollars, and it's really, really. It works great. It works better than the Paul Mitchell. It works. I mean, it's awesome. Like I would recommend this to anybody. I would recommend any of these things to anybody. These are great things and they're reasonably priced. And that's what's so cool about them is that they work and they're affordable. And that's what I'm about. Um, you know, I have three kids, so I don't have a lot of money to be spending on myself. So I got to, you know, but I do want to take care of myself and my hair and, you know, everything. Um, I use this when my hair is damp, and I also use it after I blow dried it. I put a little bit on there, and then after I straighten it, put a tiny bit more on, you know, avoiding the roots. You don't want to put it on your roots, but I use that. Also, my cousin shared a story with me a couple weeks ago about um, she was dyeing her friend's hair, and uh, she was doing a, a dark blonde and a lighter blonde, dark blonde on the top, lighter blonde on the bottom, or something like that, and she ended up telling, and, and she told me that it ended up smoking, like her friend's hair started smoking, and she was like, oh my gosh, we gotta wash this out. Well, she tells me this, and I'm like, wow, that is like a true horror story for me. That's like, whoa, no, I don't want to hear this, because I dye my hair so often that when I hear something like that, I got really freaked out. So what I want you guys to do is down below in the comments, put a crazy horror hair dyeing story. Let me know about it, because... I mean, it can happen. You smell hair dye, and you smell how strong that stuff smells, and it's just like, I think to myself, why am I putting this on my hair? Like, this stuff reeks. It smells like, you know, some serious chemicals here that shouldn't be going on her hair. So, let me know about your crazy horror stories, and as always, thank you so much for watching my videos, and please subscribe, and I hope you all have an awesome day, and God bless. Thank you.